<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are continuing with the albums from Twice. We've had like a stop where we've done like Misamo's album and uh, Time to Twice. I love them both. Insane. Um, but we are finally going back to the um, album like order, usual chronological order and this time is Feel Special um, I know that on this album Mina was on a hiatus uh, I think it was only during like the promotion so I th if I'm not mistaken she was like on the actual songs so well it's gonna be fun we have Feel Special Dance Practice, the complete version, obviously. Then we have Rainbow, um, which was written by Nyon, Get Loud by Gio, Trick, Trick It by Dubu, Love Foolish by Momo, and 2129 by all of them, I think. So I'm really excited, and yeah, let's go. Okay, the first one that we're gonna do obviously is feel special the complete version because i'm not going to do the version without me now that's for sure so let's go i love this song we've seen the mb let's go oh Oh wow, they are so synchronized, it's crazy. Oh, I love when they do that with the hands, like it's so pretty. Wow. Maybe. Oh my god, I love when they do that. Oh. It's like they control her. Oh, I love that. I love when they do levels like that. I love this move. <laughs> Hi, baby. They are so good. Oh yes, I love this. Ooh. I love how they were like, how do I explain this? 
There's ones in the front and ones in the back with nylon in the middle and then they change. I love that. Wow, I love this. Actually, I want to... Nayan looks so pretty with this like length of hair. It's so... My God, it's so good. They are so synchronized. And the dance was so pretty. I loved all the levels and like all the change of positions and everything. Like, obviously, I don't know anything about dancing. So I only can... Like, I can only comment on that. But... It was so so good like obviously at this point they've been together for a, a while right like four years three years i don't know um so obviously the synchronization also improves with time but like this was insane i love that that, that, I, that i do the dance practices just because there's also an evolution in these things and it's so obvious. The one that stood out the most to me in this one in particular was Chui. I don't know, my eyes kept going to her. We love to see that, obviously. <laughs> it was so good. This song is amazing. What a title track. It's insane. And, and obviously the dance is crazy. I know the meaning of the song, thanks to, to you guys that have explained it to me. So I know it's a, a, I'm an important song, but I, I just love this so much. It's so good. I love it. Okay, let's go to the new songs of this album. As I said, the first one is Rainbow, which is written by Nyon. I'm excited. Oh my God. Oh my God, they look so pretty in these pictures. I'm excited to see like how these songs, songs sound like because we obviously had like this change up of like them doing cute songs in a more mature way and also like doing more like different songs like the changes from twice so I'm really really excited to to see how they which direction they go for this album so let's go my god they look so pretty Double, mm, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Freaking ad libs. 
It's driving me crazy not knowing that. Oh, Jonghyun, I love your voice. Oh my god, fun! So good. Oh, what is that in the beat? Ooh. Who the fuck is doing that? It's Nyan. It's Hasto. That sounded like Nyan. Oh, it's Gatsu. Oh, I love this thingy that they do with the bit um i love this one so much and i love the lyrics and like the meaning of all their songs i never knew like obviously at the first albums that we've done that we did uh, i always like i used to say that they are all these songs are really storytelling based and i feel like we kind of left that there to go to a more like self-accepting um encouraging songs you know like it's not too late you can get to the purple line whatever that is um your wolf feet trust me like all this it's so good and i feel like all these their songs now are more towards that type of like lyrics which i love and it's so 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 good for like their viewers their like for once like it's insane how much influence they have on all of us so the fact that they do all these songs to make you feel like you are worth it is amazing i love it okay let's go to the next one which is get loud which was written by Gio. Let's see what this girl wrote on this song because I'm scared. Okay, I'm doing this one from the Random K channel, which has like a line distribution thingy. So yeah, let's see. <laughs> um, let's go. I will not copy Hopefully I'm gonna be able to do this oh my god Wow. 
This song is so good. obsessed with this song i am obsessed i am not sure if i like the doing lyrics with this specific layout because i feel like i'm i have to like concentrate on a lot of things on top of like hearing the song and reading the lyrics so um, i don't think i'm gonna do this channel even though i really like that they do the ad libs um, i I think I'm gonna check this channel after I've heard this song because it's a bit confusing to be honest but like this is insane this song was a bop the lyrics so good like so so good and I feel like um this was such a in your face song I feel like I, I feel like it's a completely different song from all the ones that we've heard until now like it was much more upbeat uh, in your face kind of song you know and so catchy this one might even be one of my favorite b-sides overall i don't know what it is it's like so f fun to listen to and we had some we had a lot of chess vocals a lot of jungian's vocals the high note no 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 this was so so good so good i really really love this one good job geo <laughs> good good job i love it so much okay um the next one is tricky which is by dubu yay have we done any song from her at all i don't think we did Oh, Missing You. Okay, Missing You is from Dubu, but that was the only one and it wasn't only her. So I'm really excited to see how she writes, like what she wants to talk about. So um, let's go. I'm excited. Oh my God, after that one, I'm a bit in shock, to be honest. Okay, let's go. It looks so pretty. <laughs> Oh, okay. I 
I love that she's getting more lines. Oh my god, these songs are so different. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, baby, you're so insane. Oh, is insane. like that i love that um why are all these songs such like party disco kind of like disco <laughs> club kind of like songs i feel like this could play in like a freaking club and i would like be so happy like it it's they are so upbeat and like they have an insane beat like kind of edm -y. I don't really know at what point you're considered these songs EDM but like it just gives me that those vibes like the type of song that you would dance in a, like a club both this one and the last one they are so good I loved it and they sound so good I love that she's getting more lines like I'm noticing a bit of like especially in the last one she sang a lot and like in this one as well um i love this one so much they are doing so good with this album i feel like it's such an upbeat album so far i don't know if maybe 21 29 it's going to be like more of like a slowish song maybe who knows um so good let's go with love foolish now which is written by Momo. Wait. Momo, 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 Momo. Yeah, by Momo. I'm excited because Momo, we know how Momo writes. And she literally has a gift. <laughs> so I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, these beats, what's going on? And this is so different from the rest of the albums. What's going on? <laughs> I want to keep 
Oh my god, look, Chuil sounds so good in this last few songs. Always, but like. Oh, Mina. I love this part with you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's literally a theme. All these freaking songs are going to be a bop. I feel like this one might be one of my least favorite from this album. Not like I, I like it, but I feel like the last ones were so good. Or like I like them so much that this one kind of fell back a bit. But like it's still really, really good. Yeah, I, I love them. Chess part. Chewie's vocals and Mina's vocals were like the probably the, the things that I that stood out the most to me in this one. Like I've been noticing that I really really like Chewie's voice. It really actually it really suits this type of song. <laughs> I don't know. It was so good. I love it. Uh, I love it, but as I said, it might be lower on the ranking, you know? My god, okay. Let's go with the last one, which is 2139, which I believe it's written by all of them. So yeah, let's see what this one is about. Um, I'm excited, okay. Let's go. Oh, complete change. Does it have a meaning like twenty one twenty nine? Pretty. 
the cutest thing ever. That was so good. That was so good. I really, really, really love this one. I feel like with such an upbeat album, we needed a song like this to kind of wrap it up. And on top of that, the lyrics were so good. And it kind of felt like it was for once. So you guys are going to tell me if it is. But like, it definitely felt like it was. Like, this is for you. you like, all the lyrics were so 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 cute and it felt like it was literally directed to us and um, i loved it and i really really loved as well like these slower songs just because it really shows how much control they have with their voice and how good they all sound singing because i feel like with more upbeat songs we are used to having also like the rap parts and like Dubu and Che sing amazing, so I really really love when they do these lower songs because they get to shine in that sense as well. Mm, it was insane. It was insane, I really love it, and I feel like this was like, again, like the perfect song to finish this amazing album. Um, and to also like have a little gift for us, you know. It's amazing. I really enjoyed this album. I feel like it was much different from the rest of them. Like this one was more of like, like as I said, like a more upbeat, like party kind of feel. And I loved it, but, it was, but it's like different from what we are used to, what I am used to them doing. Um, so it was nice to actually see a different side of them. Amazing. My favorite would, would be like for sure uh, Get Loud. It's, I don't know what it is about that song. It's so good. But yeah, well, and that's basically it for me today. It was insane. I don't know which album we have next. Wait, let me check actually. Okay, so the next album is um, More and More. I'm so excited. For that one because that title track is a lot <laughs> but i'm i'm really excited uh yeah well thank you for watching again and i'll see you guys on the next one bye <laughs>